Hello. This is Skeleton Crew. Where everything is spelt with a K, just like Mortal Kombat. Here we go. I have no idea what this game is like or about. I think I messed around with it for two minutes, like a month ago, just to see what it would look like when you originally chose it. I'm hoping it's gonna not be too crazy but yeah according to the back of the box it says on the European one wanna pack a big gun with enough ammo to level a city you got it wanna massacre seriously psychotic psychogenics mutants and get paid you got it wanna blast your way through the savage secret zones deadly crew traps mad and bad buildings and hideous end of level psychos comprising six humongous levels of 3D isometric carnage and wear a spectacularly sexy hyper high-tech big ordinance neutralizing exoskeleton to boot well you got it all but only if you join spine joint and rib otherwise known as the skeleton crew in their first outrageous blast fest and there we go made by core design limited now, I couldn't find a manual at all, so I have no idea about the story. The only thing I managed to find, because I, th I think it came with a comic inside, but I can't find any scans of it, which is really sad. But I did find a little blurb on Hardcore Gaming, and it just says, The story as narrated in the comic inside the manual begins in the not-too-distant year of 2062. Well, that isn't too distant now. 40 more years. Where the aforementioned Mr. Cadaver, former mortician and leader of Dead Incorporated, which is deadly in force, aggression, destruction, takes control of a cryogenics plant in Monstro City, former Cryo City, to convert it into a factory that produces the so-called psychogenics mutants to overrun the land. The only ones who can stop him are the multinational mercenary group called Skeleton Crew, whose members are nicknamed after skeleton parts, spine, rib and joint. They are biomechanical soldiers whose upper body is disjointed from the rest, which lets them shoot at almost 36 degrees while standing firmly in place. And I believe that is it. So, let's have a look at this game. We've got three characters to choose, I have no idea. First and only. I believe so, yeah. So I don't think there was a skeleton crew. Although, when I was tagging this, there was, you know, on Twitch, when you, like, tag your game, it there was two choices. There was skeleton crew with a K and C, uh, crew with a C. So I was, I was like, oh, I wonder what the, the other skeleton crew is. I always thought this was like a licensed thing to do with Skeleton Warriors, the TV show, but apparently it's not. It's totally unrelated. I did used to watch Skeleton Warriors though a little bit. Hey Dan, how's it going? A pretty cool story indeed. Yes, let me just close some stuff on my computer and we'll have a go. I don't even know who to play though because there are apparently three choices. It is also quite interesting that this is made by We've got Rib, Conception, 2039. I was leaning towards Rib. Weapon, Tri Blast, Thrasher. Who else do you think there is? Perhaps if we leave it to... I didn't actually see because I was reading the website. I if it was saying anything about the other people. There's no story, is there, at the start? Hmm. Let's have a look at options. Oh my god. Difficulty. 
Like, why was this a thing in the 90s? I feel like Mortal Kombat started it, but why? Why? In Mortal Kombat, it's kind of like tongue in cheek at this point, but. Difficulty, well, we'll just go with medium, I guess. Player 1. B is fire, C is jump. Select weapon A. Rotate left A. And rotate right is C. It is cool. It certainly is. I, so I think, from what I did dabble, I think when you're holding down shoot, A lets you rotate and C lets you rotate. Which is sort of a little bit like Atomic Runner had. But I ch changed that control scheme because it was stupid. But in this one, we're going to have to put up with it, I guess. We've got a password, though. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'm, I've got to try it. Is there a password for KKKK? Oops. How do I move on to the next thing? I'll start. It feels good while shooting. No. Okay. Well, missed opportunity there. Who to be? Joint, rib, or spine? I don't have any particular preference? I think I won't be. I don't know. Joint doesn't do much for me. I think it's got to be rib or spine. I'm easy. Do you have a preference? Should we do a poll for one minute? Spine, rib. I guess I can put the other choice in if you if you want. But. We'll have two minutes to decide. Go. Vote. Or don't. And I will decide. <clears throat> I wonder if we can see the bios again. I kind of would like to. Who picked join? Rib. Nobody wants spine. From what I did read on the on the website too, is it seems like she's the fast but frail one. He's the all arounder and he's the tanky one. But is not very good at moving or something. He's probably Adam, Blaze, no, yeah, an Axel. Looks like it's gonna be Rib. Three votes for Rib. I actually, when I was, when I uh, first put this on for like a minute, I thought rib was actually male. It wasn't until I saw the, the full box art. Not box art, but the full profile art. Well, it's looking like rib is winning. Three, two, one. Rib has won. Let's go with rib then. Sol system, Earth. Skulker leaving hyperspace for planetfall on Earth. Target ground zero, Monstro City. Mm. Scanning for what? Can't even read that. More moribund, moribund cadaver. DNA pattern. Cadaver located at Dead Ink. Cryogenic plant. Cri prepare for teleport. Well done, Rib. Hey, Retro. How's it going? 
This is on the Amiga as well, apparently, if you want to check it out. I think it is. Ooh. Some funky beats here. I'm turn that up. Is it loud enough on the stream? I see a theme with the names. <laughs> this is quite good. Oh, the music's gone. Now it's shit. It was good. Why can't we have that rave music for the level? Oh, is it one of these quiet, atmospheric, boring games? Ooh. Monstro City, hell yeah. I don't, I have no idea, because I haven't even been able to read a manual, I have no idea how to play this game. So... Wait, what did A do? A chooses your weapon. When we're not, ooh, look at the way our legs are, ooh. Jump, that is the most, is that jump useful? Oh my lord. It's kind of weird. Okay. Press start. Is it, oh, it's two player, isn't it? I feel like it's going to take some getting used to. Oh my god. Hey, Sinister, but how's it going? Oh. oh god. It's really. I don't like the animations. Kind of a bit creepy. <laughs> It's a cool concept, but it's it's very weird. Oh my god. Can I destroy these? Never heard of this one. Hey Techie Rob, me, me neither. I think I've heard of the name, but I don't remember it existing. It's a very late release though, isn't it? This is Mecha Lavos's Redeem. Woo, from quite a while ago. It's going okay, how are you? I'm alright, I've, I've, I've literally just started. I was tired, I had a power nap. Have they gone? This game, ooh. It was a whole thing, wasn't it? Very late Mega Drive era where everything suddenly went all like isometric like this. Okay. I'm just playing it cautiously at the moment, but perhaps I don't need to. What? What's that? I don't even know what I'm picking up. Is it money? I see this getting rather repetitive. <laughs> You. Being cautious helps a lot. Hang on, I'm going to make chat a little bit bigger. There we go. It's too small. I'm squinting to read. But how are you, Tacky Rob? Oh god, more of these things. The only problem with cautious games like this is when you do lose and you have to do it all again. It's, it's not so fun the second time around being cautious. Alright for now. Perhaps we should have been spine. That jump. The graphics are very... I want to say like a little bit Geiger, is it? But not quite. It reminds me a bit of Shadowrun on the snares. The bit where you meet the, jo the, the Jester character. What the hell is this? Is that exploding or what? Oh. Splendid, thank you. Hope you're well. I'm pretty good. I didn't sleep very well last night. Up too late doing doing the le doing lemmings. What's this? Well, what was that then? Well, we got choices. It's a deep game. Can we get up there? Oh, I like the the landing sound. I think those things are supposed to be skulls and spines, but I keep seeing them as Pez dispensers. Oh my god. I guess it's a, it's some sort of health system. I'm guessing this is the, the hood for two-player mode, and it doesn't care whether you're one player or not. It's just going to show you anyway. 
So I guess the right side just sits there the whole time. I never shot that. I just tried to haul ass through the levels. Well, that's where we differ. You missed the money. Woo! What's the money for? Is it just points? Or is there going to be a shop? I do wish I could have read a manual. <laughs> I like to read the manuals on these old games. You often don't always need to, but it often saves you time later, I find. And there's some mechanics like... Do you remember Blades of Vengeance? I swear, if I didn't read the manual, I would have spent the whole game being really angry, taking damage, not realising that down was block. I don't think... Because there's that number in the top, and it looks like currency. Makes me think there'll be a there'll be a shop later. It's weird which games don't have scans. I guess it's because Sega Retro has has a lot of manuals, but I think I guess it really just depends on relying on people to submit them. Are we going to spawn forever? Oh shit, I just took some damage. Look at my Pez dispenser. I bet this would be fun on two player. I get the impression that they're infinite. Oh, and just as I say that, this feels like a weird isometric schmuck more than anything else. Yeah, it really, it's a... It's just an isometric run and gun, really. Isometrics, though. Landstalk is not the same as this, because Landstalk is on a grid. This is isometrics without the grid. It's like Sonic 3D, where it's, it's very... feels like you're kind of sliding around a bit. I mean, if you let go of the D-pad, they stop pretty quickly, but it feels very like... Ooh. You know, and trying to shoot in a particular line... I suppose it's, it benefits from having this rotation thing going on, which is just bizarre. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a different weapon. <gasps> Shit. Was that what I picked up? So maybe that is that is not money. Maybe it's just score. I've got another weapon. Did I find that? Maybe I found that in that room. Are there platformy bits in this? I've no idea. I've... I've you, You've literally seen as much of the game as I have at this point. I, I, when I did briefly mess around and I potted about over there and turned it off. I mean, I have flicked through a long play like for five seconds. I think I've seen a, a short snippet of one boss, but I don't know what boss it was. I just wanted to see how long the game was. Oh, it kills those pretty fast. It's not like Landstock, you see what you're doing. That 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 is also true. Why does it sound like a telephone? Oh I guess this is a boss. Oh gosh. Ooh. Oh shit, I I'm dead. Have I lost my weapon? I'm dead again. Fuck's sake. She's not very good, is she, Rib? Dead again! Can you just face the boss? Oh my god. Am I hitting anything? I can't even tell. Oh, don't do that. How do I... Oh, no. Oh, shit, we've changed characters. Why? Oh, well, we're going to be spying now. Maybe he'll be a bit meatier. The 
fuck is this boss? How do I know if I'm even... Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I get you now. Oh, for goodness sake. Wait, why have I changed weapon? Need to shoot the things at the side. Oh, bye. I think that was garbage, wasn't it? But we're apparently spying now. Somehow I managed to change characters while I was uh, doing that. Well, good afternoon. What is this lovely nightmare? This is Skeleton Crew. How are you doing? I don't I don't know how I accidentally Oh wait, do we have to be everybody? Is it one of those? Is it like uh what was I just playing? Mercs? Do we change characters on death? Oh well, it's good to experience everybody. What's his jump like? Fantastic Whoa Well this is nice. It is like Landstalker, where the scenery just gets in the way for no reason. Hmm. Gives you the option to change on death, like Streets of Rage. I didn't really notice the option though. Ew. It's a bit savage, isn't it? That 90s violence. That's why we're all in our 30s in the way we are. Ooh. I'm not sure about the music in this though. It just sounds like Echo the Dolphin, Welcome to the Machine on the telephone. Fax Machine. Changes your score into text. It's real easy to miss. I wish. You wish what? Ooh. Thirties. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, you have your own decade of blame. Going for ambient, but sounds a bit meh. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's just, can you hear it? If, you've, if, you, if you're listening with headphones on it, it comes through the right speaker. Just this little like telephone dial up buzzing. I'm waiting for it to do it again. Oh, he took a long time to die. Sounds like a fax machine. How is the volume? Do you want me to turn it up? Am I very loud? Wow. Oh, shit. I can't work out if this is, like, good. It's quiet, but nobody wants you to turn it up. <laughs> Music is quiet, but I don't think you can change it. I can, like myself. I can just turn the stream up a little bit. Ooh. Normally I'd say yes, but it isn't the most pleasant sounding game. Why not, but if it's too quiet, you'll just hear the sounds of like my air conditioning and stuff. I'm curious now, this is my core design, but some of the assets look very similar to previews of an unreleased Warhammer game. Unreleased material got used here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe we could add our own base into it. I 
I think it's cool, but it could just do with less enemies and be more... It would have been better off as a sort of, like, cyberpunk RPG. Like Shadowrun, I think. See, this is... this is funky. Why can't this be the music in the level? So that was level one done. Apparently, according to the back of the box, it boasted... what was it? Six humongous levels. I think there was nothing humongous about level one. I mean, I took my sweet time. Cool concept, badly implemented. I'm curious now, had the same issue. I've read that. Elevator shaft. How does this password work, though? Do I have infinite continues for every level? Like, it's because the other levels have different paths and they can send you back levels. Oh, goody. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can't even read that password. Is that a B? B G W Y? Oh. It's quite hard to accurately hit what you want to hit. Oh, we're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Press start. Spine, rib, let's be joined. Ooh. Okay, the music's got really loud. I'm going to turn that down in a minute. Are we... I feel like I'm not at the right height to kill them. It is very hard to... It is very hard to line your shot up. More stupid angles. Entering floor four. Destroy all enemy before... Before what? I didn't get to read it. <laughs> before, before... Let me see my phone. Proceeding. Okay. You figure them out and realise the game is dumb. Oh my god, what is this? This music is divine. It sounds like if Chakan had like good instruments. You know, ironically, I'm feeling whatever. What's his name? Who are we? This guy. Ugh, what's that? Can't even. Oh my god. I can't even shoot those things. Yeah, get lost. With the other weapon, maybe. But it's very hard to change so quickly on the fly. Am I hitting you or what? Starting to get into it after a bit. Are you sure? <laughs> Entering floor three. Destroy all enemy before proceeding. This is a British made game. Why can't it have like good good grammar? There's no excuses. Is enemy is all enemy e correct? I know enemy can be plural, but all enemy? Maybe it is actually. All enemies. 
It's not. Are you sure? Actually. Destroy the enemy. Hmm. What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Well, what happened there then? Should we go back to Rib? Why did she just die? Did that that thing's just like killed me twice? Oh, well. I fear we're going to get a game over, so let's just do it now. Let's see how this game works. Shoot bombs. Nom nom nom. Game over. I want to see how punishing this game is. Game over. Ah. Very slow game over screen. Hmm. So, what was the password? BGWY Core. Core, blimey. Fuck it. You know, 95. What year was Tomb Raider? 96. It was like literally the next year. They were probably like, this was just like their their holdover, wasn't it? Tomb Raider came out in October 1996. When did Skeleton Crew come out? Do we have an actual date? March 95 Wow So Tomb Raider came out About a year and a half after this I'm out of here, bye, bye Gomuga Ogura I have issues with that font I've lost the password This was post Kingsfield It was what was it? Let me copy paste that again. B G W Y. <coughs> B G W I'm hoping that this will give us full credits. One player game. <coughs> right. Who to be? I feel like Joint was doing the best, but let's try Spine. Elevator shaft. How many credits have we got? So we've got full credits again. Okay, so it's just a case of getting through the levels. So it doesn't matter if we, if we get game over as long as we've got a new password. The aiming is a bit shitty though, isn't it? Oh, I didn't even see him. Oh my god. It's very hard work. I'm trying to shoot something. It's not just the angle. They don't even, they're not even on the same plane like the same height as me sometimes what a silly choice yes like they float up and down why would you choose that when I can't shoot up
Oh my gosh, are we done? Oh, I've changed the weapon by mistake. Fudge! What is this thing doing? Get up! Such a weird game. <clears throat> Floor 3. What is the point of those eye things? Why are they there? They don't seem to be doing anything. Crud. So you can't hide? Or are they just a warning? A slow warning? to introduce the the idea Oh what is why is there so much of the same thing I hate when developers think that this is fun gameplay see this is why and you know shots fired but this is why I'm not a huge fan of God of War. Everybody raves about God of War. I feel like God of War would be a lot... Oh. I feel like God of War would be a lot better if, it, if every single like room with enemy encounters didn't have to have like three repetitive wa waves of the same thing. I get very bored of the combat in God of War very quickly. I find it very frustrating. Other than that, I would I love the game, but you know, you go into a room and, and it's like you have two minotaurs and eight skeletons, and then you kill them all, and then two more minotaurs and eight more skeletons appear, and then you kill them all, and then two more minotaurs and eight more skeletons appear, and then finally you can move on to the next bit, and it's just like, oh, why can't it just be two minotaurs and eight skeletons? The end. Whoa! So now I only got to level 3 before I quit. And then you decided I needed to play it. Right. Oh! Maybe those eyes are just, are just there to, to, to restrict your movement. Oh, this is kind of fucking difficult to deal with all this shit. Um, just be joined. Maybe he's stronger somehow. I don't even know. Endlessly respawning. These things are shit. These flying things are garbage because you can't even hit them half the time. Oh. Why have we changed weapons? Oh my god. Stop respawning! Oh. 
Or is it because of that thing at the bottom? So you kill the brain. Ugh. Hello. <laughs> this level is very very uninspired after level one. Level one was kind of fun. I liked it. I was getting into that. This level is bland. Well executed trash. I don't know if it's executed well. Entering floor one. Destroy all enemy before proceeding. Oh, nope, that doesn't seem to be working very well. So very hard to aim. <laughs> God, what is this? Also, why is there a jump button? I don't feel like it's truly working. Hmm. Do I even need to kill this snake? I don't even get this game. Wait, 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 what? Oh my god, I can't even move. What is this shit? What is this snake thing? Is it dead? Hey Jamesy, how's it going? Oh, it's losing its spikes. can't say that was very accurate. Level 3, sewer duct, password, pskja. Right, we need to jot that down, I think, just in case. Has anybody jotted that down? I'm too lazy. <laughs> pskja. I'll, I'll put it in my clipboard, actually. That'll work. Sewer duct. Well, hopefully we're halfway through the game now. It's about time we did some jumping. Is this death? I'm probably best off just starting over, right? I've only got one continue. Let's just 
very carelessly rush through. It's just points. I'm not bothered. Right, let's hit the reset. Ooh. And we'll put that password in. This level makes you jump. Is it scary? <laughs> I know what you mean. Skeleton Crew. 1995. Just stumble through this game. It does seem that way. It's probably one of those two... <coughs> Some of these games feel like they were made for two player, not one player. It's probably one of those, like with a friend, back in the day you'd have had sort of a good time, but on your own it's a bit meh. Because a lot of the gameplay is just, it's, it's the working together and having fun, isn't it? Can you think of this as like Halloween? I got all hyped about who to pick, but I feel like it barely matters. I don't feel any difference, and actually, I think I like Joint the most. He seems the easiest to aim, because he's so chunky. Joint has more health. That too. He's very slow though, isn't he? But I don't really feel like moving is... Particularly very useful. What is the point of these things? See, even that boss then, it felt designed for two player. One of you can shoot the enemy. Well, well I mean, that's the whole thing. You've got two types of weapons. One of you can be shooting at the main enemies and the other one can be getting the ground enemies. But on one play you kind of got to deal with it all. I wonder if it's if it's it's probably not even balanced for one player either. Because of the drop in, drop out system. You know, good two player games will compensate for one player, like they'll have less enemies or something. I suppose the compensation on this is that you share you share credits actually. By the looks of it. This music's awful. Oh my good lord, this is terrible. Whoop, 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 whoop. Which reminds me, I don't know if you're still lurking, Quiggy, but I didn't actually say hello. I just read your comment. Hello. I hope you're well. Dun, 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 dun. Let's just go. I'm over this level. Don't tell me this is. A, we're back at the start. See, it's supposed to be ground attack, isn't it? But it's just not very practical on one player. Oh, finally the jump has come into play. How exciting. If you beat this in this sitting, you have world record. World record for what? What world record? Why do I have world record? 
Because there's no there's nobody else entered. Oh. Does it include resets and passwords? Any percent, I guess. I'm not submitting a speedrun for this. I don't want my name attached to it. I don't want people to know. Boom, 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 boom. We died. Again. The fuck is this soundtrack? Too late. Are you gonna tell everyone? Wow, 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 wow. Are you gonna play this one on the Amiga Retro? I'd be curious to see someone else enjoying it. It's like every level can be the title screen, but they did so many takes, they had no other music. <clears throat> the music that's in between the levels sounds really funky, like a rave. It would have been fun. This game needs like upbeat music. Not this. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's a hard game to judge because it's it's just I think I've redeems or sure if a bud requests sure shall I request it then I don't know if I want to see it now I <laughs> Only play it out of curiosity if you're just interested in Amiga stuff. I'm not sure I'm that bothered. Did you see me playing the New Zealand story the other day, Retro? Apparently that's on the Amiga too. Everything's on the Amiga, I'm starting to realise. So many like, if it's European and on the Mega Drive, chances are it's on the Amiga. But then also a lot of other stuff too. I honestly had no idea about. Oh, well, I, I'm, I haven't finished the uh, the New Zealand story. It wasn't even part of the challenge. I was just bored and playing it for fun the other night. But then I was looking it up today. I was looking at all the different versions. There's a Commodore 64 version as well. Wow! 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 I, like I said, this game could have been improved with a little bit more accuracy and like a story or something. You know, like like a sort of action RPG, cyberpunk, would have been cool. You know, with like buildings and go inside and talk to people and you've got to like get through whatever. But just this endless waves of boring enemies is just snores film. Oh my god, what is this? It's just the same fucking screen. Boring. That's the game's biggest sin, to be honest. It's just boring. It's not like it's crazy at the moment anyway. It's not crazy hard. It's not like total jank. It's just dull. Less is more sometimes. <clears throat> the humongous levels. Out, stay in the welcome. Oh, what are these then? Are these death pits? 
can't even be asked to kill the enemies, just whatever. Get through faster. Oh, where are we? I've changed characters. Oh, he is a lot faster, isn't he? But the other guy kills much, much quicker. But it's orange now, but it was orange before. It's already been orange. This is the third time I've seen orange. Oh, God. Yeah, I should have stick, should stick with the chunky guy. His shots, actually, that's why he's easier, because his shots are bigger. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> See, this music, this should be the music in the level. You'd be like, you know, busting down the corridor, shooting. This is good. Mar oh, I thought the password was Mars. It's the name of the level. Mars. Also, way to abruptly end the and I was just over it. Let me just copy that password. H D Z T. I'm also gonna get a throat sweet. <coughs> Keep coughing. Well three levels left. But this is definitely the best music on the game. Oh. What is going on here? Now we've got no music? Oh, we should restart, get all the lives back. I'm not dying at the end of a level. Let's get the credits back. And I'm going to change to be the tanky guy. But you have frogs now, Martian frogs. Hmm. Apparently it's a rare game. 150, but I wonder if there's, there's no manual then. Nobody could afford it. I wonder why it's so rare. It's cr Rare is the weirdest thing though, isn't it? How often the rarest stuff is rubbish. Is it rare? Do you know where it's rare? Is it rare in the UK or is it the... Because it came out in America as well as the UK. Is it a PAL copy is a rare or NTSC? Didn't come out in Japan, funnily enough. I need saucy emotes like that. Just one. Right, we'll go with joint again. Get that rave. I wonder which cop is the most expensive. But yeah, we'll be. Hopefully, I can, I'm going to stay up a little bit later tonight because I don't have work tomorrow. Woo woo! I also don't get paid. Boo. But I have a week off work. It's not really a vacation. I'm just technically unemployed for a week. Because I won't get any money for it. But oh well. It means I can play some quality titles like Skeleton Crew. I'm ready to get my lemmings on, to be honest. Boom, 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 go. Ooh, multiple routes. Oh, this level you have to shoot the things around the pyramids. They don't tell you that. What pyramids? They probably do in the manual, but we don't have it. What pyramids? Oh, these. Glad you told me that. Oh. 
Am I shooting it? Oh, I can see it, look. Rubbish. How do we know when it's... Is it dead yet? Boom. Gone. Yeah, those. I got so lost on this. I thought you stopped at level 3. This is level 4. Too fat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! What the chuff is that thing? Look at his teeth. I don't know, this game is a fever dream. Well, where was the where was the the platform that I blew up? Oh, he got me. You have a jump. You know, it's, it's rubbish. I'm not jumping over that, am I? It's barely a jump. I'm just checking I've not missed anything before I go over that thing. Oh! Oh, I haven't been here. Oh. But now I want to know what was the other way. Is that going to be any faster? I don't trust him. Hooray! Another one. So I assume that's the mission objective then. You have to do this, and we've just got to find them and destroy them. It must have been something that was in the manual then. Because, you know, they expected you to actually <clears throat> have the manual and the game when you played it. Although, just having a little blurb at the start of the... Oh, whatever. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> Three credits, let's go. There was a little platform over here that I made. Oh. Not been this way yet. But I was curious... Oh. I'm curious what's... what's uh, what's over there stop caring about this game fast I'll stop caring about this game about an hour ago <laughs> the 
The only thing so far that I'm grateful about this game is the fact that it's not ridiculously difficult. Oh no, I don't want to be Rib. Who am I? Join. Let's stick with Join. You know, this is probably just going to take me to that pyramid, isn't it? That I've already destroyed. Oh no, there's another one. <clears throat> we had to come this way then. You kind of want to GOE to just pass through with things, yeah. It's sort of, you've got to be grateful that they let you have that invulnerability period though. It's funny because I've just finished playing Mercs, which was an infinitely better game. What's that skull? Is it alive? Bothered. Mercs is very similar, sort of run and gun, but just overall better. A lot of it's music though, I swear. If this game had good music, it'd probably be a little bit more enjoyable. Music is so important. Especially on older games. It can really, really make or break a game. So honestly, I think if you think of all of your favourite games, most of them had... They all are good music, really. How many games have you played that are brilliant but have crap music? I can't really think of many. I can't think of any at the minute. Oh, Venus. Would have been a better game on any other console. Would it though? Would it? <laughs> Do you really think so? WGBX. Desert Strike was fairly silent. Well, that's not bad music though, is it? That's no music. <laughs> but no, it's true. I'm of a generation where you would put on a cassette or LP while playing video games. Well, I am not. <laughs> Your cassette was the video game. I used to listen to music when I played games, though. But don't you love a good chip tune? But my, even my games that I played, like on the Commodore 64, like I played the great Guiana Sisters, fantastic music. On a nice boom box. God forbid you mix them up and put a C64 cassette in a stereo. I did that once with a Spectrum tape of out of curiosity. C64 cassette? I thought they were floppies. FM Jim's music wasn't great. I like some of it. Guiana's a lovely exception. It is. The music's out of this world. Dun dun dun. This level's pretty. I wish the great Guiana Sisters was on the Mega Drive. Maybe I should just play it anyway. Sometime, yeah? I'd love to play that. you got to hook me up with a way to play that retro. I want to play the great Guiana Sisters. I want to play the Commodore 64 version as well. Is there any other versions of that? Is it on the Atari? I think it's on the Atari as well. Oh, I should reset, right? I can't be bothered to die at the end. I'm going to have to cough again. I don't know what's wrong. Good evening. This looks scary. It is. It's very scary. It's terrifying. How are you? It's uh, terrifying that it exists. It's very Shaq Fu, is what I would say. I was talking to Barley Bap earlier on Discord. Someone who's often in the channel. Um... 
like I was reading up on Shaq Fu that we played the other day, and like on Wikipedia they say that Shaq Fu is is like considered one of the worst games of all time, and I'm just like seriously, the worst games of all time. It's really not that bad. This, this, this that I'm playing right now. This is not the worst game of all time either. This is Shaq Fu level. It's just throwaway. It looks nice. It's not particularly very exciting to play. It's just finish it, never play it again. It looks pretty good. Calling it Shaq Fu makes sense. Yeah, it just feels like it. I mean, it looks beautiful, but it's just. Boring to play. And as I was talking to Barley Bump about it, she said that she played it back in the day. She, but she doesn't remember it. She said she remembers she rented it, she beat it, she forgot it, and that pretty much sums it up for me. Rent, you would rent it, beat it, no desire to buy it. The only saving grace, I think, and it's probably similar for Shaq Fu 2, is I think it would be fun on two-player. I think it would be a fun two-player game. I would have enjoyed this as a kid with my friend. But on my own, in my 30s, not so much. Is this going to die? What's the problem? Is it repetitive? Uh, yeah, and it's also just, it's a bit clunky janky, and it's just, <clears throat> you'll soon see, to be honest. This is very much what the game has been like. This is not going to die, is it? Maybe I should just let it go. I mean, it might die, but maybe it just doesn't matter. Actually, this level seems a little bit more interesting than the others. The pyramid level wasn't that bad either. It had a purpose to it. Everything... Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Everything just needs to be expanded upon a bit. It's got no depth. I mean, as well, you know, they've got the two the weapons. We've got two weapons. Why not have more? Why don't they have other weapons that you get later as you go through? I don't think those die. It has as much depth as a thimble. I'll chat you up in the Discord to sort out a worthy C64 option. Well, thank you. I mean, I assume you can use Retro Arch or something. But I've never tried it. And I know that you're a lot more whiz on the older machines. I don't see the point in the score. Are, we sh are you sure we're not supposed to destroy those? It's not like the pyramids. Because I'm just confused as to why they have damage. They have the fire, the fire, which means that they're taking damage. Maybe. Notice how there's no more collectibles. Like they just came up. I there wasn't barely any anyway. I mean, there's that skull that I saw, which looked like a, an extra life, but. What, do you need really need one ex one extra life for the whole game? It's all I've seen so far. I never even found it actually. Do these like just destroy the other thing? It, it definitely looks like it's taking damage. Oh. You bugger. Where is it? Has it just like despawned itself because it was out of camera shot? <laughs> Scratch my face. Yeah, 
Yeah, like I said, I just think this would be improved by being some sort of like run and gun action RPG, like a shadow run sort of game. I'm tempted to add a new game to the list. Probably not a good game, but a bad or average game that can be got out of the way easy. Go ahead. How easy is easy? How short? It's not Jungle Strike, is it? <laughs> I, I, I appear to have reached the dead end. You're entitled to another game. I've, I've already finished Mercs now. Although I don't know when I'll play it. Depends what it is. Is that the exit? Oh, there we go. I walked right past it. Silly me. This game is Mechalavos's Redeem. And by no way is it a reflection on him. It's not his fault he has terrible taste. Oh, seafood green. I mean, it just all blurs together. What is this? How did this development team go on to make the non-repetitive, beautiful Tomb Raider one year later? Guessing we destroy this. Maybe the Immortal. Ooh. I've been dreading that one. I've heard it's balls hard. I've heard it's a short game, but it's a very difficult game. Not sure about the Immortal. Not tonight, anyway. You can redeem it, though. Didn't you say you work with the person that worked on it? I've been kind of curious about it though. I have been interested in it. I'm just... I mean, I have to play it eventually anyway, but it's just like... Oh my god, so many difficult games. It's kind of draining sometimes. So... Oh shit, I've changed the character. Where is he? We're being raided as well. I believe it's Yes21. I shall... Give you a shout out in just a moment. Oh my goodness me. I'm curious whether there's pictures in the manual. What for? The immortal? If there's scans, we'll look. But anyway, more importantly, yes, 21 with a raid. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. How was the rest of your. Mario Kart Deluxe? When I left you, you were playing, like, Mario Golf. The Immortal is EA. Oh, so there's no music then. Ooh. Thank you for the follow, Miss Josie and Wayward Python. I hope you're both doing well. Ooh, you are in Japan, Ohio. Uh, well, technically, yeah, it is uh, quarter past midnight. Technically a new day. Good morning. We had Yes playing Mario Kart holding his controller reversed while speaking Welsh. The Irish Island, hello there. The Immortal. There you go. See? But I have to ask you, Techie Rob, when you say it's short and it'll be easy to get out the way, do you mean if I beat it? Because isn't it isn't it difficult? Have you beat it? Did it take you an hour or did it take you 20? I heard it's a lot of trial and error and it's just tedious, but as long as it's like you remember it and then you win, not always a clutch. Is crew like a trendy way to spell crew? No, it's the lame way to spell crew. There's nothing trendy about this at all. Just another Wednesday. We finished golf and then we had to do Rainbow Road in reverse reverse. 
and in Welsh. Hated it but loved it too. I beat the game, yes. The boss is pretty much impossible without a guide. But it's but it's but it's easy when you know how. Is that what you're saying? Because I don't mind that kind of difficulty. Skeleton cringe. This looks interesting. Hey, Chrono Gear, you need to change your name. You should be Chrono Gear now. Is the floor made of cabbage leaves? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like how you haven't commented credit isn't spelt credit. Well, I also noticed that there was a, there was something else on the back of the box that wasn't spelt with a, with a K either. Not everything can be special K. I should change my name too. I didn't realise it was also reverse controls. How did you manage? Rainbow Road's evil. On every Mario Kart, R Rainbow Road is just the devil. Bum, 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 bum. I was thinking of doing an F1 racing game after this, but will everybody run away? Is the question. I always feel like the minute the sports games come out. Is lame a cool way to say bad? I find it so hard to keep up with you kids. Who said lame? Did I say lame? Lame is not a cool way to say bad. Lame is just, it's lame. It sucks. He's 51. 51 is nothing. Retro Interos is in the chat. He's ancient. By the time you've learned it, it'll mean something else. Lame is lame. Lame means skeleton crew. I'm actually lost now. I'm kind of lost. Oof, if I was 51 again, just for a day. <laughs> You've been outaged. Everybody's outaged by Retro Interossa. He's older than. Pong. You miss me playing Pong. Aren't you devastated? I realised as well, we might have to replay it. We won't. But I didn't play hockey mode. So it's technically not fully experienced. You've never heard me flexing the two years I have on him. Oh. Is it an age off going on in my chat? I bow to your agedness. Ooh. I'm gonna die. Just roaming around. Oh heck yeah, I'm not older than Pong. I'm older than this game. You know? Oh shit, we've changed to the wrong character. How many people are older than this game? Is it everybody? I feel like a lot of people that hang around in my channel are older than this game. I am. My dad's older than your dad. Oh, purple! I'm older than this game. Me! Is anybody younger than this game? I'm older than this game. Heck, I graduated high school before this. I love it. I didn't do that. I would have been in primary school when this game was out. This is very much my generation of gaming though, like my childhood, not my teen years though, but my childhood. I could have played this, but I fortunately dodged that bullet. I was probably playing Light Crusader instead in 1995, or Crusader of Senti. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, do we win? Is that the end of the level? No? Oh, bollocks. Where are we going now? Up here, perhaps? Oh. It's actually better if you don't shoot all the time. It just improves my headache. 
Oh, I guess we've got to go through all these different doors. Remember my dad be bringing a ZX81 home. Is that related to the Spectrum? Because don't they call it the ZX Spectrum? Is it a different model? I'm not very familiar with microcomputers. My older brother had a Spectrum, but it, I think it... I don't know what happened to it. He was in the chat earlier, but he's gone now, so I can't ask. But I believe it... But it had definitely left the house. We had cassettes lying around, though. I don't know whether the Spectrum broke, or he sold it, or... I don't know. Gave it away, but I never got to play it. But when we did have a PC, my brother bought this disc that had a collection of Spectrum games all on it to be played on Windows. <clears throat> so I did play quite a few of his favourites. Mostly, um... What was it? Maniac Miner and Jet Set Willy. And a couple of isometric ones. Get out of the way! <clears throat> I'm going to die. I've got no more credits left. This level is garbage. Hi, time to five. I'm taking a break for video games in favour of golf clubs. Everybody, I think everybody took a break, didn't they? Age is a construct. The average age of Retro Twitch is about 20 years older than the other parts. Yeah, I think Retro Twitch now is very much 30s and 40s. Seem to be. Well, especially late 30s, 40s, I think, is a big part of the Retro community now. Obviously, it's getting... 1995, I was smoking pot while watching Godzilla films. Maniac Minor, I love that. Never took a long break from gaming. Nope, that does bad things to my head. Yeah, I never had a huge one. I had a brief one, I think, in... Uh, just before uni, I think. I kind of went out of it. I'm so fond of the day they invented cheese. I'm the same age as Die Hard, that's my reference. What year is Die Hard? I think we're about the same age, Slew. I don't want to say my specific date of birth because of doxing and all that stuff, but... Uh... <gasps> I may be a little bit older than you. Slide in Sloop, I didn't realise that. The game's glitching out. Where's the final door? I really don't want to die and have to do this level over again. Oh. See, I've been there. The game's busted. Look at it. It's glitching out. <laughs> I look rough like. No, I thought we were about the same age. You don't look rough. Oh, is that? Oh my god, that's a door. Thing is, though, I'm probably gonna have a. I'm probably gonna have to do a boss, aren't I? I hope not. Was the immortal on other platforms as well? Not just the mega, not just the Mega Drive. It feels like it's more of a, a, a an Amiga type game. All those sort of isometricy ones. It's on good old games. What the immortal? Was it a DOS game then? Do you know what, Doan? You might be well. You won't be interested as such, but you may be just interested to hear. But you know the because um, obviously it's in Japanese. There'd be no English. But um, I found a website, a Japanese retro gaming website. It's sort of a bit like a Steam or a good old games, I think, but for Japanese stuff, especially old like. Japanese computers like the X Sharp or whatever it is, they have the um, 
they have the Legend of Heroes games. Like Legends of Heroes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the old PC versions. And I'm really, really debating at some point. They're not expensive either. They're about 400 yen, which would be about two pounds. Two or three, about three pounds. So I think it's a bit of a bargain. I might actually, can I walk across this? Oh, I might, um, where was this again? Um, it's called like ECC or EGG. Hang on a second, it's probably still in my browser. EGG. It's, they, there's no English support though. Because I was looking it up out of curiosity because they have Warrior of Rome on there. I can link you the website anyway. You've used it, ah. Oh. But yeah, they have a lot of the, the old Falcon games. Yes, yes, they've got a lot of Falcon games on there. That's what I was looking at. Because I've always kind of fancied... I want to play like a couple of... I'd like to play Legend of Heroes 3 in its original form. I've only played EGG Eggs, yeah. It's... I wanted to play in its original form because I've only played the PSP remake and I, I really did quite enjoy it and I want to do some gaming to practice my Japanese again so I thought it would be a good one because it's mostly just talking I like the music from it as well but what interests me even more is they've got the Zack series on there too, which I've always wanted to play. Zack, the art of visual stage. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Eggs, chicken or spider? Ugh. Spider eggs. Ugh. Please be the end of the level and not a boss. Ugh. I have three lives left. I don't understand this level. Is there another door? I think I've been through there then. How does this level end? Been through there. Been through there. Been through there. And not been through here. These are quite neaty, aren't they? Yeah, speaking of old, uh, sniff the cabbage leaves, that might give you a clue. <laughs> Is it like tea leaves? Speaking of microcomputers, though, I was watching... In fact, maybe you would know, Slu, because we are similar age. Although, I think my school was just old. Doan might know as well. The BBC microcomputer we had in school. I used to play. Obviously, everybody knows Granny's Garden, but there was another game that was on the BBC Micro called Dragon World, and I played that when I was in school. And I watched. There's a like a somebody doing a let's play of it on YouTube, and I watched it today. And oh my god, that game is so much more cursed than I remember. It's kind of freaky. And also kind of garbage. I don't really see a great educational value in it. Is that the end of the level? Oh no, we're still going. We had one at first school. I think I know Dragon World. It's so cursed. Just Google Dragon World BBC Microcomputer and you'll find it. Spooky, I played Dragon World. Yeah, it's old because it's, it was not really my time. 
Um, that came out wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's old, because you're so old. It's not really my time, but for some reason, I feel like the BBC computer's like linked. The teeth of beauty. Yes! <laughs> I feel like the, the BBC computer just kind of lingered for a little bit before the schools like could afford to get the new tech. So like I probably played it in about 90... I don't know, 90... Probably when this game came out. 94, 95, I think is probably when I played Dragon World. But the game itself was made in 84, I think. Oh well, no, the BBC computer came out in 84. I don't know when the game was made. 89? How does this level end? I don't know where to go. Like, what am I doing? Oops. I used to play Grandma's Garden. Now, I asked, I've asked some other people, but nobody knows, and I can't find it on Google. I don't think I'm ever going to track this game down. It wasn't really so much a game, but <clears throat> on the BBC Micro, there was some sort of music making program, but it was definitely aimed at kids, not like a sophisticated music making program. And it was like um, done with pictures. You would choose, I think you'd have different themes for the music and then you would choose from picture images and you would put them together to create like a chain of music. So just little chunks of music. So the one that I remember and it was kind of a stereotypically bad oriental themed one. I think it had like, you know, like a red bridge or something was one of the pictures and maybe some like bamboo was another picture and like a Chinese looking hat was another picture. And like each of the pictures would represent a sample sound and you could put them together in a pattern. You know what I mean? Oh my God, I'm trying to find it. I can't think what it was. And I remember one of the music things was just that horror like stereotype like da 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 dun 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 and you could spam that like over and over again. It was like the chopsticks or something. And you could make your own, I mean, it's not really making your own music, you were just like smacking together tiny music samples. But I have no idea what it was called and I can't find it. It was just a black screen as well, I think, and you just put in the boxes, you could choose. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. No, I'm not, I've got one more life. How do I end this level? I've done that door. I think I've done all the doors. I don't understand. Have I been down there though? But I'd really like to find out what this game is. I've been there. I also wondered about it oddly enough. There's another door now. Are they just opening at random? Oh, thank God that's the end. We don't have to do it again. Cadaver's base. RDFK. I was wondering about RD Love. Yeah, and I can't track it down because I can't even think what it would be called. I've been Googling like BBC Micro Music Maker or something. The first one to shop at my school was called TRS80. I've never heard of that. Is it a microcomputer? Let's uh, put the password in so I can remember. RDFK. I need to reset the game now as well. We're not doing this level with no no lives. No, this is supposedly the final level of the game, so... Yay. TRS-80 was the computer out of war game. Same hardware as the Dragon 32. I've not seen that film, you know. I know it's super famous. RDFK. It's just slightly, slightly older than me. What was the password? R... D... F... Okay. Correct, it was a primitive early microcomputer, way low and spent the BBC micros. 
See, I did try and Google about BBC computer games, but the problem is, it fo all the videos on YouTube, it focuses on games, and this wasn't a game, so I don't think it's going to come up. It was more like a software thing, or an educational thing for kids. So I'm not really convinced. I would find it. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, this this music's like a little bit better though. They save the best for last. And then I don't remember much else on the BBC microcomputer. I remember playing Granny's Garden. I remember I always wanted one. Ooh. Whoa, the frame rate can't handle that at all. There's something in there, isn't there? It was so hard with that era because there's a thousand knock. Yes, very true. It's very hard to track things down. Because, <clears throat> like, I managed to find that game. Oh, you played it as well, didn't you, Retro? Chaos. I played a game on the Atari called Chaos, but it was actually a knockoff of another game. But I, I've never played the real one. I've only played the knockoff version. But I did manage to find it. <clears throat> oh, my throat tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's a H. What does the H stand for? His name's Cadaver, the boss. Hate. <laughs> with a K, so you know it's cool. Exactly. Don't you mean cool with a K? I'm sorry, my throat is so bad. Can't seem to clear it. I don't know if it's allergies today. What is this? Doesn't that look like something? You would think. Well, oh my god, that is so like MSN, like 2000, 2000 what, 2005? No, 2003. Cool. Gotta go. Hey, uh, how's you? Good, good, you? Good, good. Be right back. End of the conversation. I was actually talking earlier though, I kind of miss MSM. It's not the same as social, like, it, talking to Barley Bump about it, we're talking about social media, and it's like, um, it's kind of a shame that MSN and forums and boards just got appear, got replaced with 
social media, like Facebook and stuff, because it's just, MSN was a lot better, because yeah, because you could appear offline. Do you know what really gets me now? And sometimes it's a double-edged sword, because sometimes I like it, but like someone sends you a message, but you can only see the first two lines on your phone, and you want to read the rest of the message, but you know that Facebook's going to let them know that you've read it. And it's like, once you've read it, it then becomes like you're ignoring them now. Whereas when it's not been read, oh, they've not seen the message yet. But once you've seen it, it's like, why haven't you replied? Can't stand that. See, that's why I like Discord. It is. It's like a social contract. That's why I like Discord, because you can message people and you have no idea whether they've read it or not. The only thing you can see is the icon online or offline. But even online, people don't see stuff. Discord's a funny one anyway. But, like, I mean, I'll message people on Discord and I don't expect an immediate reply. And sometimes we have conversations over, like, two days or something, and that's totally fine. And you've got no idea whether they've read your message or not. They probably have, but it's cool. But it's, you know, whatever, isn't it? So you can turn off re red receipts. Who, you use DMs on Twitter? Who are you? No, it's me. I'm, I'm really old school when it comes to Twitter. Like, uh... Not old school, but like, I didn't get Twitter until last year. That was the first time I ever joined Twitter. And I use, I, I, I mean, I use it only for Twitch, but I didn't join Twitch, uh, join Twitch, join Twitter for Twitch. Wait, yeah, I didn't join Twitch, oh, I can't, oh! Well, that's the thing experimenting. Anyway, I will finish this sentence. I didn't join Twitter because of Twitch because I didn't plan to stream at that time but I kind of wanted to create a social media. My point of Twitter was to try and just create a more positive social media environment where it's not real life and I'm not following people that... because all I follow is I just follow streamers and video game developers or things like that stuff related to gaming, my hobbies, people that stream on Twitch, people that do art, and people that do music, things like that. I just wanted to make a more like positive place to look at stuff. Is this, what is this? And I don't want to have real people like just, you know, like on their real, because I feel like streamers on Twitter they probably have their own personal Twitter account anyway, but their streamer account is a lot more just, just positive. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> where it's like my Facebook, where it's people that I grew up with or I know and sort of whatever. It's just, sometimes it's just full of like horrible opinions. I mean, sometimes some people have certain opinions. I just don't want to know. You know, everybody's got their hot takes on the world events because they're, they, you know, they've experts on everything. Are we supposed to do something with this? I mean, your friends from younger aren't people you choose usually. Yeah, exactly. It's just generally people I went to school with, and I could get, you know, you, you argue you could get rid of them, but like, do, mm, yeah. But the other thing that I was saying, like, um, I kind of believe, like, it's a double-edged sword with social media. A part of me thinks, you know, I, I like the internet and I like, because I mean, right now I'm using the internet and it's, Twitch has been pretty good for my mental health, as far as I'm concerned. The only thing is, it's a bit negative for my sleep, but it generally has made me a happy person because I get to talk to nice people. And I always feel like the way that I do my Twitch anyway is it's, it's always kind of light hearted. I don't want to sit here and just discuss the, you know, the, the rights and wrongs of the world and politics on my channel. That's not, I want to escape from all of that. That's what gaming is for me. You know, I'm so deep, I've actually for lost the, the track of where I was going with this thought. I don't think people have bad opinions about people. Just got to accept the differences. So just leave them to it. Well, I think it's also just before Facebook, you wouldn't know they had that opinion. 
Do you know what I mean? You're just passively looking in people's brains because they some people don't have any filter on Facebook, but they wouldn't perhaps say that in the park or something. Do you know what I mean? People just put stuff out there and forget that like everybody that they went to school with is reading this or whatever, you know? But yeah, my point was with the social media, I kind of think that sometimes... Is this the final boss? Ooh, he looks cool. I, I sometimes think that as he, like we're not supposed to remember all this information. It's like, you know, I might remember that there might be like Becky that I went to school with or whatever. Not necessarily a real name. What is this? I haven't seen her for 20 years or something, but I know that she's got like two or three kids and I know what they look like and what they did last week. Why do I know that? I don't even live in the same country as Becky or Sarah or Sally or whoever. It's like, why do I know all this? If, if it wasn't for social media, I would perhaps have forgotten that they even existed. And I, haven't, and I don't mean it in a keeping in touch kind of way because I haven't spoken to the, this person or that person for however many years either. So for like for all intents and purposes they aren't anything. Oh I see. Sorry, it's because I'm 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 having a ramble now. I'll play the game. Yeah, we'll stick to the game. Kill the boss. And sometimes it's not the case, you know it's not that I don't like Joanne or Barbara, but I'm never going to see them again. Because the short time that I'm back in the UK, I'm going to be seeing my friends that are, I'm very close with and my family. You think Becky likes Skeleton Crew? I don't know, because I haven't spoken to her for about 20 years. I know what she did, like what she watched on the telly the other day though, or what she put on a sandwich. I assume we're destroying this thing here, but I don't know if it's... Is it working? Oh, I see. It's a shield. Oh, it's powering down. I can see the side of it. There we go. Now it will get you. Hasn't this been a riveting game? Like I said though, it does look pretty. I have enjoyed the animations. <gasps> How many credits have I got? Enough. Should we finish his rib? <laughs> Think you skipped a boss. I remember a giant skull fight. Well, maybe there's one coming up. Oh shit, I've changed the spine. I don't want to be spine. I didn't mean to skip a boss. You're going to have to YouTube but I'm not playing it again. Is this the end? Oh, he went through the... He went through the wall. How weird. Congratulations, mission complete. Proceed to rendezvous point to await pickup. Hmm. See, this music's good. We could have had some of this earlier on. Oh, here we go. Cancel last message. We have a problem. Is that going to be the giant skull fight that you just said? Oh, shit, is what that sprite says. Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> what am I looking at? Wh 
what am I supposed to be doing with this? Hee <laughs> hee! Oh! <laughs> That'll teach me to be sassy. Oh, don't spawn there. That was stupid. Whoops. Am I just fucking soft lock now? Thank you. Oh! He's a bit of a beefcake under all that, isn't he? Oh, he's gone. Don't be shy. Pardon my phrasing, but those balls cast big shadows. So oh much. <laughs> Your phrasing is excused. Look at those fingers go. He's ran away, Quiggy. He heard you. Mortified. I'm supposed to be doing something here. I guess I'm shooting at him, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. Do we win? We died. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh. No. I thought I was working something out. I'm not. There's all these weird sounds that keep throwing me, like this boom sound. Oh, for fudge's sake. Let's go back to joint. Although he is slower, isn't he? Hmm. There's like barely any skill involved with this. It's just... I mean, I could, yeah, I could do this figure of eight movement, I guess. Do you think we've got enough credits to just face roll up? This is on normal mode as well. I wonder what easy mode was like. Oh! Goodness me! Oh no! What a mess. Just give it up, cadaver. Ew. Cadaver is at your mercy. <gasps> what? I don't know. Press A button to finish him. Press the B button to take him alive. This game owns. It's over, Goatee. Does it own? What am I doing? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> That's where my thought was. Monty Python. Cada Cav Cavdaver. What am I doing? Should we do a poll? I'm going to see both endings anyway. But which shall we do first? Finish him or take him alive. Why would I take him alive? Oh, is it time's up? I've made a cheeky save, so we can look at both endings. Finish him. Oh! We certainly did. <laughs> I feel like that needed a sound effect. Did you like this game, Goatee? I have to say, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was pretty bad. <laughs> Skeleton crew. Staff. Is that it? Oh. Let's uh, use the power of magic and make the other choice. We'll take him alive. I liked it very. Went as far as getting one CC with the weakest character. Good port. I guess you should have frisked him or fried him. Wait, what? Have another go. I didn't even I didn't even look, I was reading chat. What happened? Let me check again. What happened? Oh, he killed us. I see. Alright, well we'll blast his head off this time. You ready? Boom. That'll teach him. I liked uh, 
uh, on the the website, I looked at hardcore gaming. I did see a screenshot of that, but I didn't read it, and I, so I didn't really understand. But I did see underneath the box it said press C button to correct his the spelling of his name. <laughs> that made me laugh. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, not to be controversial, but or sorry, controversial with a K. That game really didn't do much for me. I thought it was rather boring. I don't think I would ever play that again. I think, like I said though, oh, why is Jeremy Smith so small? Only the producer. The end. Perhaps they didn't like him. I think two player, that would have been a, quite a fun game. Like with a friend when I was like eight or something. I think I would have enjoyed that, but I don't think it has much for me now. At least it was easy. You know, you can just spam credits through that. I think it I think it needed something else. I think it needed some sort of I don't know, dialogue scenes or something and maybe some some sort of open exploration and a better soundtrack. Oh well. Skeleton crew is done. Let's mark that off. It's nice to finish something in one sitting and not have to play it for like a week. So I'll give it that. Woohoo! What's next? I can't even remember what my thought was. I had to find the hidden one-ups and stuff to pull off one CC, but the soundtrack is stellar. I didn't like the music, I'm afraid. I like the the level music in between. Let's go to it. I like this music. Maybe it's in the sound effects. I thought it, it needed more like high tension kind of energy music. You are the Skeleton Crew champion now, first place. What for the speedrunning? Apparently, yeah, Goaty, apparently nobody's... Oh, not Password. Nobody's done a speedrun of this game, so technically, if we submit our videos, we're number one and number two. I wonder if it allows for passwords, though. I want to go to the sound test now. There was one, wasn't there? How do I select it? Oh. See, this is the kind of music I think should have been throughout the game. It should have had this energy. I think it should have sounded like this. It would have been a much more exciting experience. But instead it was just all kind of weird ambience. Right. What shall we do next? 